Hey, I, I'm Steve McDonald. Uh, I'm in a couple bands, Red Cross, Melvin's, and Off, amongst other things I've done. And um, I'm here today to try out the Earthquaker device Westwood pedal. So um, let's, without further ado, I'm going to switch it on. So we got. <laughs> like it's a, a nice distortion pedal. That's that's it all the way on. That's the maximum overdrive. Which basically, seems that the deal is you're just gonna go. So this is with nothing. It's cool. I mean, the big test with the bass, with playing bass through an overdrive, for me is whether or not it's gonna um, retain some low end. Cause a lot of distortion pedals, like the mid range and the high end sound exciting cause they, they're hairy. But when you click on it in a live setting, all your low end just goes and gets sucked out, which then makes you not really a bass player anymore. But so it's kind of hard for me to tell with this setup because um, with our sweet crate, um, 112 combo or st baby stack baby half stack it's hard to tell if we're getting a lot of low end but but so far it's sounding like whatever we have clean we're not losing and I, and I like the thing I like about it, it does have a separate bass knob that's good that's very promising. That seems like through an SVT or whatever your your uh, whatever your you know cabinet of thunder of choice is, that would probably respond well. So, and then the other thing I like to try on my um, my seventy five Gibson Ripper is the um, out of phase tone. See how it responds. Yeah, it's exciting. I like the, um, I'm very intrigued by the Westwood, Earthquaker device, Westwood. Um, and I like the name because it reminds me of Westwood Village in Los Angeles. It was the first place I was ever, I'm a busker. I used to busk at in Westwood along with my brother Jeff. I never did. Oh, I did with Greg Hudson. And there was a guy named Larry the Horny Stud who would, uh, he would, he would, he made up. He was sort of pre. Um, he made up these dirty songs, and he would busk, and he uh, and he was uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's it. That's what I've got for so you. So he had a song called um, instead of Helter Skelter, it was Westwood Hooker. That's exactly it. It was sort of like Weird Al, but it was like dirty Weird Al. <laughs> and he was Larry the Horny Stud, and he wore a long, like black matted wig, and I think he probably just wore a speedo or something, and he kind of harassed all the like college kids that were walking around Westwood Village and Greg had some played a, through a pig nose amplifier it was a guitar playing Red Cross at the time and uh, I played bass <laughs> 
that will represent horny. Uh, yeah, it kind of yeah, reminds you. This would be to Westwood Hookers. Uh, Westwood Hookers. <laughs> Westwood Hookers. <laughs> Westwood Hookers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know it, but uh, yeah, you could you could definitely play Westwood Hookers on the Westwood. Uh,